everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is that time of the week again when I go shopping and um, instead of buying my usual very boring uh, granola and milk and vegetables, I am instead going to go and do a vegan food haul shop, whatever YouTubers call it, I'm not really sure. Um, and I will let you know what I find. I don't usually go for all of this kind of um, processed whatever stuff, but um, sometimes I do like a good bit of vegan cheese. So I'm gonna trawl Holland & Barrett, Waitrose, Tesco, M&S, and maybe Sainsbury's if I can find one, and see what I find and let you know. I think there's this misconception that vegan food has to be good for you because, well, it's vegan. And um, I'd just like to clear something up. Just because it's vegan, it doesn't mean it's good for you. And just because it's not vegan, it doesn't mean that it's bad for you. You can get both in both types of diet. So um, when I go through the products, I'm definitely gonna be looking at the ingredients and the nutrients of it, and whether or not they are actually healthy or just playing healthy because they're vegan. Okay, so I managed to get to Holland and & Barrett and M&S and Waitrose, but couldn't make it to Tesco's before it shut, so I'm gonna do a second day. But let me just show you what I've got now. So here, this was from M&S. It's M&S's own brand, and it is sweet corn and chickpea burgers. They are totally vegan, which I'm actually really impressed at, but that was like the only thing that they had. Um, we then got tofurkey, which I've heard so much about. It seems quite American. I'm interested in trying this. No, not... He's so keen. Um, interested in trying this in some recipes, so I'm gonna try and make some recipes with that. This one is Violife, which, which I've actually tried before, but um, never did a taste test, so um, I know loads of, there are like loads of different brands of vegan cheeses, and um, I'm gonna try and find some more when I can. The cat wants in with the vegan food. I then got Tofu, which again, I've tried before. Um, this one is smoked and um, I'm gonna try it with some recipes. I usually just like break it off and stick it in salad. So um, I'll see what else I can put it in and um, just let you know some recipes and what I find. Then the last one, a different kind of tofu that I found in Holland and Barrett. Um, this one is unflavored. So I will probably have to do something with that to make it taste like not crap. Hi everyone, I'm just on my way to go and have lunch with a friend of mine. I will let her introduce herself to you, but we are heading to one of my favourite vegan restaurants in London. It is situated on Brick Lane, and I will take you there and show you what we are having. Okay, so today we are with Kate, and, and um, she is a food blogger. Can you tell us what you do? Hi, I'm Kate Evans, and I do sort of, I, I want to say like food blogging, food, like food reviewing, videos, present, like presenting things, but people probably mostly know me for doing food challenges, <laughs> which is like the giant burgers and things like that, so. And, and have you ever done that for vegan foods? I've not done it for a vegan food place yet. I'm still sort of looking for like the right place, and maybe we're, maybe we're here. <laughs> What do you think of unhealthy vegan foods? Do you think of being vegan as being really healthy? Or do you think of it as kind of like a freedom diet? I think it depends on, like, it depends on the kind of person. I know a vegan who really, you know, she's got very, very healthy with it, but I find that, like, vegans are so cautious about what they eat. Like, they're really kind of like, you know, it's like, it just depends what mood you're in. I guess it's like just being normal, essentially. It just depends what mood you're in. Sometimes it's not really unhealthy, sometimes it's like, no, clean meat kind of thing. So, it depends. <laughs> challenge that stereotype today with some pretty damn unhealthy vegan foods so I will show you what we're getting. Our food has just arrived and this is my fishy one, fake fish obviously, and sweet potato fries because why would you not? And Kate is busy taking pics. <laughs> Check that out. So we've just left Mushi's for lunch and um, I'm gonna ask, what did you think? That was absolutely delicious. It was almost as if I was having like pulled pork. It was <laughs> beautiful, like, and even the fish one as well, because I can't remember exactly what was in it, but I know it was like a... It was, of... um, it was like battered aubergine um, fried with um, nori to, yeah. to kind of give it the like fishy sea flavor. Yeah, no, I knew there was some kind of like element of fish. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. I've had it before, but I've never had the fish one. And um, 
aubergine's also my favorite veg slash fruit um and obviously i really really enjoyed it so mm -hmm. we definitely recommend if you're looking for some vegan um yeah <laughs> if you're looking for some vegan goodies that are unhealthy and still very tasty mm -hmm. definitely give it a go would you say that yeah absolutely i feel like that's the vegan restaurant that i would definitely start recommending now because <laughs> that's i think the only one i've actually been to properly <laughs> she's converted <laughs> So I've just come back from two events and it is 8 p.m. On my way home, I bought um, two little like um, burger bun kind of things and they were reduced to nine pence and uh, there's only one of me, but I bought two because they were so cheap. So um, I'm gonna make some sort of burgery thing and we're gonna try our first things, which I will show you just now. Obviously there's a cat waiting for me in the sink. Poseidon. Okay, so here we have for my burger, we have some aubergine and then we're trying these which are veggie sweet corn and chickpea burgers. And these 9p Waitrose bakery rolls that were going off and they're pretty hard but they were so cheap I feel like I have to buy them. Um, this which I should have been drink, uh, drinking, god no, um, eating for a while, it's um, pure sunflower spread, kind of just tastes like Olivio, wait, Bertolli. Um, but obviously it's totally dairy free, which is great. And then I have this Violife block and I'd just like to say for the record that everyone recommended the slices and not the block, but I'd already bought it and I'm cheap and um, I don't like waste. So I'm gonna stick to this, but if you would like to try this, I would definitely recommend listening to everyone else and not me and uh, maybe getting the slices. And then last, wait, second last, we have some Rocket for the greens. And then we have some um, hot tomato salsa dip that I'm gonna stick in there as well. Okay, so now for the all-important taste test. Not a massive burger connoisseur, having not eaten meat since I was four. Um, this is a bit of a new one to me. So this is what it looks like. Yes. Okay, so just as a reminder, what we're testing here is the inner burger from M&S and the Violife cheese. Oh, it's hot. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's really hot, but really good. Ah, so hot. So, the burger is insane. That just, it's like kind of spicy. Um, bean burger, it's like a really rich, very thick texture. Can't really taste the cheese right now, so I'm just gonna try a little bit by itself. It's really kind of gooey bit of a different texture to um, actual cheese. Okay, so it doesn't taste like cheese, but it is kind of still nice. So I think like if you don't compare it, maybe if you haven't had cheese in a while, it would be really, really good. I think if you have eaten cheese recently, it might be a bit like, the fuck is this? So um, overall, definitely recommend. This burger is so good and it wasn't actually that expensive. I can't remember how much it was. I'll put like the prices and everything um, down in the uh, description box. But yeah, 
like 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for burger taste. <laughs> everyone, I've just come back from a long day of work and events and um, I'm about to make dinner for me and my sister who is hiding, poor girl revising in the corner. Well, no, she's on her phone. Caught in the act, so bad. Um, and I'm gonna be making a quinoa and smoked tofu salad. I think this can be had basically hot or cold. Um, we're gonna make it hot tonight because England is cold. I guess you just leave it in the fridge if you want it cold and um, yeah, I'll show you how we make it. The product we're testing today is this tofu that I mispronounced last time. It's obviously pronounced tofu, not tofu. I've actually had it before, so I'm kind of cheating, but we're gonna taste test it in a recipe. I always just like break chunks off and then um, eat it like that, which is definitely not how it's supposed to be had. So yeah, we're having that, and we've got some quinoa here. This is really easy to cook because it's literally just 90 seconds in the microwave, um, but any quinoa will work fine for that. It only takes 15 minutes otherwise. And then we have various salads here, spinach, rocket, and a mixed baby leaf salad. And then we have an onion for added goodness. with a little bit of garlic until the onion is sort of soft and slightly browning and then I'm gonna stick in the tofu until that is also hot and slightly browning as well and then I'll stick in the quinoa which is done um, just for a few minutes to mix it all together. So I've just had a little bit of the um, smoked tofu and I can safely say that it tastes a little bit like Austrian smoked cheese if you've ever had that, um, but kind of slimy and weird texture. So we're cooking it to try and get rid of the slime a little bit and we're going to cook it until it is all browning um, around the edges. I'm going to wilt a little bit of spinach into the mixture so it's all started to brown quite nicely so I'm just going to shove a load of that in and it all just kind of disappears. It looks like that now, but give me a second. Ta-da! So this is a whole 80 gram packet of spinach between two of us. Disclaimer, you do not want to cook the virgin olive oil because um, it's got a low combustion temperature, I think. So that means that it will just become really, really bad for you. So you're just putting it in there to heat up with everything, but you can actually turn the heat off now and just mix it all around. And there we have it. Two bowls of delicious quinoa and smoked tofu. Yet to try it, apart from my sneaky tastes earlier. The great thing about this is that you can put basically any veg you have in your fridge in it. Just pan fry it, make sure that it's kind of soft and starting to go brown and then um, you can just mix it in with the quinoa and then if there's any leftover you can also put it in the fridge and it's great for summer salads and picnics. Okay, well I can't move that. Okay, so, tell us who you are. Her sister. And what's her name? Violet. Well done. <laughs> and so we're trying the smoked tofu today. What do you think of it? Be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. I really like it. It's actually the best tofu I've ever had. What, the smoked one? It's my favourite tofu. Okay, so compared to normal tofu, would you think that this is more likely to be liked by people or less likely to be liked? Mm, it's more of a particular taste. Yeah. Okay, so if you like smoked things, you'll probably you'll like, like it. it. Okay, cool. Despite it's a the bit weird more texture. meaty than the normal Yeah, tofu. it's more meaty. It's kind of a bit like a frankfurter, except kind nice. Of. Okay. Cool, good to know. Anyway, enjoy. Everyone, it is Thursday evening, 7.45 p.m., a little bit later than I usually have my dinner, but I'm about to start cooking something that's really easy, and today we're going to be using the Tofurky Italian-style sausages that I've heard totally mixed reviews about, so I'm excited to see how they taste. Today we're going to be making um, sort of pizza sort of things. We're making it with a bread base, and then um, tomato paste and cheese on top with various other toppings. My outfit today is a cross between um, kind of Nigella Lawson with the boobies and um, I guess like any other Fitspo. So I think today we are Nigella Fitspo version. What do we think? It's new. It's new, so I had to wear it. Um, I absolutely love it, but maybe not appropriate for cooking. 
First thing you want to do is um, to put the grill on. So I put it up to 180 with that grill sign just there. Our ingredients for today's recipe include this reduced bread, as you know I am a fan, some baby leaf salad, some close cut mushrooms, um, my pure spread, a tomato puree which makes everything taste like a pizza, this um, wonderful thing again that we will now try um, on top of what we're making, some spinach leaves and of course the original sausage, which obviously is not the original sausage because the original sausage is meat. We've also got this delicious um, free from basil pesto which um, will just give a little bit more flavour to the pizza. But you can also make your own really easily, I just really don't have time today. And we're trying this, it's basically parmesan, um, but vegan, fab. Tomato paste is actually really good for you. It's got all the goodness of tomatoes, but it's really concentrated. So it's got um, lycopene in it, which I cannot remember why it's good for you, but I know that it is. So we should definitely all be eating more of it. And if pizza is the way we can do that, then we're on a win. So tofurkey is obviously made from tofu and it's actually got quite a good um, nutrition profile. It's got 18.3 grams of protein per sausage, which is 29% um, and that's actually really not bad. It's got a little bit of salt in it, um, which actually, actually it's quite a lot of salt, um, but if you're like me and work out loads, actually that shouldn't be too much of an issue, especially if you make your own food lots rather than getting takeaways. Um, it's quite high in fat, again, if you're vegan, that really doesn't matter, you need to be getting your fat somewhere. So I think actually not too bad in terms of um, what's in it. It's got a really solid texture, I was not expecting that, I was expecting it to be much softer. If you've ever had corn sausages, they're quite easy to cut, but these are like, fat. Okay, so I just tried a piece and I'm really not sure what to think. I haven't had meat in so long that um, I don't really think I can compare it directly to meat. It's kind of spicy, which I quite like. Um, I think it will taste better in something and like on something rather than just by itself. But then again, I know that I don't like the taste of meat, so um, if you do like the taste of meat, you'll probably really enjoy it. I've got no idea how long they'll take to cook, so I guess I'm just gonna be watching them from here. <laughs> okay, so I got distracted and I feel like I may have overcooked them, but this is the finished product and it does look bloody good. Mm -mm -mm. And this is it, this is our dinner. So this is melted cheese toasty pizza sort of thing with tofurkey and a very simple little salad on the side. Okay, so taste test time. Mm. Okay, definitely tastes a bit like pizza. Um, not sure about the sausage yet. I think my brain is confused because it's got the same kind of spice as maybe like chorizo or something like that, um, but I've not eaten that in so long and I just smell it and I associate it with meat. Um, and meat makes me feel a bit ill, but I think it does taste really good and it works really well in this recipe as well because it kind of just gives it a little bit of flavour. Um, but the pizza, mm-mm, would thoroughly recommend if you've only got like five minutes to make dinner, it takes basically no time at all. So, um, verdict on tofurkey. So, so, if you like meat, give it a go. Who knows, you might like it. Um, and the cheese works really, really well on top of it as well. That's all we have time for this week, I'm afraid. Um, I had to rush off to Cyprus, which isn't the worst job in the world. Um, but I really hope you found it useful. You're probably like, oh, thank God it's over. But um, hopefully you find the three recipes in it um, yeah, worth making and you enjoy them. If you did like it, please do like and subscribe. It means the world to me. And um, hello also to my new subscribers. And I hope you also enjoy the next video.